guys. No. Hey guys. No. Hey, what's going on, guys? Alan from. Hey, what's going on? Alan from. Golly. All right, this is harder than I thought. Hey, what's going on, guys? Alan from Dr. Pigment. I'm gonna start treating this YouTube channel a little bit more serious than what I did in the past. Uh, really in the past, I would just post up videos that were like a slideshow of some colors that I did or a car that I sprayed. Um, I kind of just want to treat a little bit more serious as the company has evolved. Um, I was a, an installer, um, and sprayed plastic for a couple of years, um, kind of just evolved into a little bit more than what it is today. Um, I'm actually super excited as to where, kind of how we got here. Um, I, uh, I just wanted my BMW sprayed matte black. I contacted one of the guys here locally that did Plasti Dip installs. He gave me a crazy price. And uh, obviously watching a couple of the videos online, um, I, uh, I knew how much it cost to, to spray the product. And I, just, I felt like for me personally, for the time and effort, that he was gonna be putting into just wasn't enough to justify the price that he was trying to charge me. So uh, I told him, no, I'm good, thanks anyways. And uh, he kind of took offense to it. I said, hey, I'm sorry, but your price is just too high. It is what it is, uh, I'm good. And then he was like, fine, see if you can do better yourself. And I took that as a challenge. So uh, I sprayed a couple cars myself, evolved into a business. I would, uh, I would go to like people's houses and then spray their window trim and wheels. I mean, it just evolved. Like it naturally, progressively evolved. Uh, the install side of it. Uh, got a shop. Was uh, was doing that for a while. And to be upfront with you, I, I just had a few installs that just didn't go according to plan. I had a few people that were just upset with with the way that the color looked on the website. Didn't match what it looked like in person. Yes, as an installer, I should have sprayed a speed shape, I should have sprayed a sample, showed it to the customer. However, I just went off the word of a website and thought that was it. And three or four cars in a row were upset that the color just didn't match what the website said. So uh, it almost shut me down actually. And that is why and how Dr. Pigment got started. Uh, I told myself, no matter what, I will not alter the photos, I will not portray them to look differently. That is my biggest pet peeve. That is our biggest pet peeve, is to make sure that the photos that are seen online on the website, on the Dr. Pigman website, match what are there in person. So uh, that is a, a, a trigger point for us. So if there is ever an issue, please let us know. Like we don't, we don't set up fake lighting or turn saturation. Not saying anyone else does, it's just, I'm just letting you know what we do not do. Um, because with the colors that you see on the website, we try our absolute best to make sure that they look like that in person. Obviously, you know, screen sensitivity and stuff like that, different monitors show different results. However, most of the time they look the same. So with that being said, um, Rail actually came to us and said, hey, we'd love to have you guys start to sell our product, maybe be a distributor, uh, at least one of the sales rep for a little bit. Um, we flew out to Rail when they were in Maryland hung out with them for a little bit, saw the facility, saw what they were doing, and we really got behind the cause. I mean, they're they're the only company that manufactures, at the time, I don't haven't checked anyone else, so I don't hold me to this and freak out, but at the time, they were the only ones who manufactured and distributed within the same location. Like, they actually make their own coating in-house versus throwing it off to a third-party lab, or another facility and there's rebranding, whatever the case is, they they made it there. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know, made in America, it's, it's made in-house, it's right then and there. Uh, so we got behind it, we really did. I sprayed my car, sprayed a couple more cars, we started to see sales just start to like really evolve and, and grow. And uh, as time went on, Rail said, hey, we're gonna go ahead and move to the West Coast uh, side of it, that's a, uh, you know, a side of the industry that really hasn't gotten too much love for due to low VOC rules. Uh, can you oversee the East Coast? And uh, naturally the, uh, the company just evolved. And now Rail and Dr. Pigman have a really, really tight relationship. So uh, it's cool. Uh, Rail is the uh, removable coating. It's spray on through a compressor or a turbine, depending on which product you're using. And then, uh, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. Spray on, peel off. 
300, 400, 500, endless colors. I mean, there's no number of colors because you have our pigments and then you got rail mixed both together. It's a beautiful effect. Um, all right, so uh, about this channel, I just figured I'd rip the Band-Aid off and put myself in front of the camera instead of behind the camera, which I never do. I had like a, a like a mental ping pong. It's do I do I make the channel where it's more like uh, do it yourself and I stand. Hi guys, here is how you mask the car, which I'm going to be doing. So don't don't. It's not just going to be me staying in front of the camera with nothing behind me. Uh, we have a lot of good things coming up. I actually have a few test panels over there that I'm super excited to show. Just not yet. Not yet. This is just an introduction as to what Dr. Pigment is, what rail is, how does it mix, and what is it, like what, what's going on, who are you guys? And that's kind of what I really what I want to go over. So with that being said, uh, you're going to start to see more, more YouTube videos uh, listed on here. Uh, we're going to go over how to spray rail. We're going to go over um, how to spray rail air wrap, actually, more specifically. We're going to go more involved in how to spray rail spherical. It's not going to be a specific, here's how you're supposed to do it. It's just going to be, here's how we do it. We're going to keep it super casual. What I really want to focus on this year is, I don't know how else to, to word it, but the entrepreneur mindset. So just the... I mean, that's a lot of, let's, let's talk about how to make money with this. If this is something that you're obviously interested in, we have installer side of it. If you just want to maybe spray your car once or twice a year, maybe a couple friends as a little side hustle, we can help with that. I mean, that's, that's what this is there for. I mean, the coating can be really whatever. If you just want to do it once a year and spray your car because you want a new car and you're just ready to, to buy a new car, but changing the color kind of suppresses that. Cause that's where I'm at. I've had my car for like six or seven years. I'm ready for something new, I really am. But uh, every single time I change the color, it kind of suppresses that. So can we say rail saves you money? Maybe, like it's a stretch, but maybe. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, uh, we'll go over all that stuff. We really will in due time. Um, I definitely don't want to lag on it. I want to start doing more installs. I want to start showing how to spray. I want to start showing more colors instead of just Here's a car that we sprayed, and then here's a quick little video, and maybe some drone shots that maybe like look cool. I don't know. It just we really want to treat it more focused. We really want to treat it more as a business. We really just want to treat it. We want to treat it for what it is. It's a business. I mean, it's it's really this is grown, and a lot of you guys have been with us since the beginning. It has grown to just something that just started on the side. To this is what I do full time. So I I, I help manage Dr. Pigment and Rail. Um, our goal is just to grow. I mean, that's really what it's about. As an industry as a whole, the goal is to grow. So um, I'm gonna quit rambling. I don't know how long I was supposed to make these videos. I don't have like a, I don't even know what to do with my hands. Like this vid the channel's gonna be weird. Like I'll just, I'll be up front with you. It's gonna be weird. There's not gonna be any structure. Uh, it's, is it gonna be more of a vlog style of holding the camera and I'm doing this? I don't know, is it gonna be more of a how-to style where I'm showing you know how to mask and how to spray? Probably. Uh, is it gonna be more of a corporate style where there's slideshows? I don't know. Like I really, I'm just here in front of the camera. This is Alan putting himself out there. So thank you for watching. Um, definitely subscribe. I'm not gonna say it every single time. The goal isn't to grow the YouTube channel as a business as a whole. The goal is to have the YouTube channel create content to educate others. That's what the goal is. I'm not expecting to, to you know, become a YouTube celebrity. That's obviously not the goal. The goal here is just to have fun, be me, and grow. So other than that, guys, stay tuned. More videos to come, I promise.